Hi gang, I just wanted to share uh, some thoughts on how to create a spacecraft and how to create the metamaterials required to build that spacecraft. First of all, when you think about the hull of a spacecraft, you have to think about its many requirements in order to be successful. The hull of the spacecraft, just in its most basic, has to be incredibly strong. It has to resist heat and the temperatures and pressures of space and of different locations in space. So it also has to be able to perceive its surrounding. So the skin of the craft could also act as a sensor. It would also be ideal if the skin of the craft could also create and move around electromagnetic focal points for a variety of reasons, from propulsion to scanning and defense and offense and much more. So as you can tell, the uh, surface of the craft itself has a lot of requirements, and something that dynamic requires a metamaterial. And if many of these craft are like I suspect, they also in the actual structure of the craft, all of it, every portion of the craft, is part of the computational aspects of the craft. So the greater the surface area and the greater the area to do computations, the more computations one can do. So in an ideal world, the craft should be able to do all of these things. Well, how do you manufacture such a thing? Well, in something like this, called a Bolton Sphere. In order to grow a metamaterial, and I say grow, because most metals are crystals. In fact, all metals really are crystals. And crystals can be grown in zero gravity, in electro solution, in a variety of dynamic ways. This Bolton Sphere has electromagnetic emitters around it, resonators, an extruder, and a variety of things that can change the atmosphere within the sphere to accommodate the growth or retardation of crystals. So, uh, very simply, how it works is this sphere is inside a spacecraft somewhere out in space in zero gravity. It's activated, the pressure is turned on, and some initial seeds are put into this. And let's say your first material is um, manganese orthosilicate. Your second uh, series of molecules or compound is, um, let's say you want something really strong, like a lawn's delight. And then finally, you want something to be able to withstand tremendous amount of temperatures. So you'll throw in carbon-carbon. Uh, and let's say you're building right now a robotic arm. So you have these initial seeds and then you activate your uh, Bolton sphere and you start creating and growing these crystals or retarding them in the fashion and way and locations desired in order to create the parts you're looking for. So imagine this as the inside bay of a larger spaceship and inside is a smaller spaceship being built and if we zoom in right here in the center of that right there is another one of those Bolton spheres and it is in an extruder basically a large device that kind of is like a tongue and what it does is slowly lick the surface of the craft building it lick at a time layer by layer with the end result being an incredibly dynamic craft that looks as if it was molded all in one piece but it's not it's made by these little extruders these tongues in fact this method could build a ship of any size you could have numerous of these building very large ships very quickly a logical question is, how is this fed? Where is the raw material to keep building this from? 
Well, I simplified the drawing, but there would be a feeder tube to a supply machine here that would give the molten sphere and the extruder all the materials, raw materials and liquids and power source and all the things it needs to do its magic. So, gang, that's a simple explanation of one way to build a spacecraft. Much love to all.